Uh, in the media, sometimes it's hard to keep up with all the tweets from President Trump. He's already been up mm -hmm. this morning. There are three this morning that are noteworthy. One, he says he'll ask for a federal investigation into voter fraud, including those registered to vote in two states, doesn't, doesn't name them, who are illegal and people who are dead still on the voter rolls. He says, too, says the results may mean we will, quote, strengthen up voting procedures. President complained, of course, he lost the popular vote to Hillary Clinton because of illegal voters. No evidence to back up that claim. Later, he tweeted that he will be making his Supreme Court pick a week from tomorrow. He said that as much uh, during an appearance yesterday. The White House will jumpstart two controversial energy projects, the Dakota Access and the Keystone XL oil pipelines. An executive order would allow work to resume on both. The news caused outrage among environmentalists. One Native American tribe in North Dakota is threatening a lawsuit. And the president expected to use another executive order to try to fulfill one of his key campaign promises, that wall along the Mexican border. Yeah, trying to get some details on how that would work. Fox 4's Dan Godwin is here now with the latest. Dan, good morning. Well, good morning, Jenny. The president's press secretary says the wheels are already in motion to build the promised wall on the southern border. Uh, President Trump says that effort is partly about making the country safer. And we were talking social media just a moment ago. Well, last night, President Trump sent out a tweet that reads, Big day planned on national security tomorrow. Among many other things, we will build the wall. Today, the president will pay a visit to the Homeland Security Department in Washington, D.C. He'll announce he's directing federal funds for construction of the wall. The project estimated to cost as much as $10 billion. According to President Trump, Mexico will end up paying the money back. He has still not said exactly how that's going to happen. Meanwhile, the Trump administration says it will not keep the president's campaign promise to immediately deport those brought to this country illegally as children. Instead, the new administration will focus on ridding the U.S. of criminal aliens. We need to direct agencies to focus on those who are in this country illegally and have a record, uh, that, uh, a criminal record, or pose a threat to the American people. The decision to focus on criminal aliens is simple. Of the 11 to 12 million illegal immigrants living in the U.S., the feds estimate 2 million have some kind of criminal record. President Trump is also expected to order a temporary ban on refugees from countries in the Middle East and Africa. It will block visas for anyone from Syria, Iraq, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Yemen. Congressional aides say the ban will last several months until more aggressive screening is in place, what the president calls extreme vetting. Now, sources say there is likely to be an exception in the refugee stoppage for those fleeing religious persecution if their religion is a minority in their country. That exception could cover Christians fleeing Muslim-majority nations. Dan Godwin on Good Day.